Hello and fuck cape shit. Welcome to another episode of Shitty uh, Webcomics Weekly. Brought to you by our subscribe star backers. Check out the link below to donate to us and or get access to a bunch of cool, super cool, extra cool, cool things. The extra videos, basically. Uh, so the, the deep lore, the stuff that they don't want you to extra hear. Extra trolling. Extra offensive, extra trolling. So hardcore. Brutal. Brutal. Speaking of brutal... Brutal. Uh, Just going so hard. Continuing with the grab bag of uh, Webtoons, uh, popular Webtoons comics, apparently. Which popular, are... Not particularly good-looking web, Webtoons. Yeah, uh, here's the next one. Slice of Life uh, comic called Boyfriend's Period. I already, I already hate it. Yeah, you can tell. You can already tell. Like fuck it, just guess the worst thing it could be, and it's just going to be slice of life. It's a bunch of all just a bunch of gay guys. Um, Two point one million subscribers because you know they basically have cornered the market. It's like if you're a fucking delusional girl who thinks like oh, guys who aren't a threat to me are hot or you know something like that. Or uh, guys who were abused as kids, or, you know, whatever it is. Even though it's also, they don't actually find that hot. Your your delusion of what you think a gay guy is like or actually is, uh, you can, uh, you know, find it's, it's a it's about puppy. it. It's a, what was it, purse puppy, purse puppyism, yeah. I guess you'd call it, where uh, gays are their pets. Gays are the pets of women. And, uh, yeah, for a long time, gays liked that, and now gays are like, you know what? Gays, Fuck gay you, guys had mistaken that for, like, actual support. Or respect. Now, yeah, A no. lot of gay guys know better now. Uh, but I can't exactly say that's tragic, because whatever is not uh, my you chose You chose to be molested. <laughs> You're the one who chose to be molested as a kid and become gay. You remember, you wanted this, <laughs> as Jack Reacher once said. Anyways, but... As the the hero, the, uh, the straight, straight male, yeah, straight white male. The hero. Um, description says a comic about getting yourself a boyfriend or a multiple boyfriends. Four college students begin a polyamorous relationship. So just right off the bat, in real life would be a disaster, nightmare, train wreck. But in this, it's like they're all cute. They're cute guys who are cute, and they will they wear pastels and they're, it's they're, sort of like if somebody came up with like a. A fantasy slice of like, slice of life comic about dating an eight year old, and it's like this is wrong. Yeah, this it's... is this is this is not something that I want to even countenance, let alone read a web comic about. It is off putting. Or it's like if I made a comic about like dating girls, and it's like every girl wants to be a retarded piss slave. That's what the entire comic. Every chapter of that the comic is. Least, how did I piss in her face this time? That one would at least be more realistic, but it would also be uh, it would be immoral. Yeah, um, maybe it, in it, a good way, but still, yeah. But it's it, like it, it, when, it, when you see a broad, when you see a broad make a comic about like gay guys being gay. That's basically what it's like. It's fucking that kind of delusion of things that just don't exist the nerdy one with the rainbow hair but anyways uh so did you have any comments on that in the discord i think i just call it in the discord i just call it literal degeneracy the web comic yeah pretty much but, but of yeah, course in uh, in a romantic way but also stupid i'm not even sure are they gay or is it a girl who's dating four guys at once polyamorous which again okay, that is also not good yeah yeah i don't know maybe the just, two uh, on the left here are got maybe these are girls actually for all it I mean. is anime style who knows what the fuck they yeah. are but i mean when, when they have short hair like that it's like okay either like dykes or they're fucking they're guys they're just guys who are like fucking fruity or something and it's like, so, you know, it, in these universes, women basically don't even exist. It's sort of like in uh, like in Lumberjanes, there weren't any men at all, because uh, if they were, they would have to be gay men, uh, something like that. Because yeah, uh, uh, a masculine uh, guy would be, like, a, a disgusting, horrifying thing to them. Even, like, a masculine guy that's just, like, not ashamed of himself. He doesn't even have to be macho. He just has to be not ashamed to be male. Not browbeaten constantly. Fucking trying to trying to dress up like a woman. Yeah. And of course the, they're like, well, every comic is about that. And it's like, yeah, every comic is about anything. But it's like 
once you start pretending something doesn't exist at all, like fucking, they're in a way they're they're pretending that um, men don't exist. Not just that they don't want to tell the story about them, because that it's like okay, fine, I understand you. But don't that by virtue story. of even attempting that means that uh, it's like f uh, fear. Not I won't even call it. Uh, uh, fucking fear. But it's also like pretending, they're, they're pretending that uh, straight heterosexuals, straight heterosexuals are like only 20% of the population or something. It's like they're so rare that we, you know, we don't even bother to put them in the color comments. their hair weird rainbow colors yeah, or exactly. wear gaudy, disgusting pastels. Like, yeah, they, they don't realize the reason why there are so many stories about straight men who do things is because in real life, the majority of people who get anything done or have good ideas are straight men. Women usually don't have any good straight, ideas. They're straight stupid. Men follow, straight men followed by gay men, then followed by uh, tomboys, then followed by women. And believe me, that's such a drop-off. A huge drop-off. And there are there are fucking broads, actually, that actually do, do things and, and have ideas. And there's probably interesting stories involving that. But and you'll um, never see them here. Yeah, You're you won't see them here because the people making these stories don't know anything about that. They don't really know anything about anything. One of the things I was praising Webtoon earlier because, like, hey, anybody can make a webcomic. It's the ultimate platform for you to be able to make something independently. But this is the downside of that is anybody can make something. Yeah. So along come the normies who have no ideas. They have no ability to write. Uh, or they don't autistic watch. girls who think that like half of the guys who exist are all gay secretly. It's like every guy fucking had a knotted rag shoved up their ass and yanked out in in uh, uh, in uh, summer camp, didn't they? It's like no. What's wrong with you? You're dumb, bitch. Hey, bitch. Hit him all, with the shut up, bitch. All guys were locked in a closet when they were four years old for an entire year by their fucking horrible. Paradin mothers. Yeah, right? something like that. No. No. Not even we were. Anyways. No. Moving on to the next one. My giant nerd boyfriend, which this possibly is worse than fucking this, uh, this than be, just that, gay that's that's thing again That we have to reiterate is we're not going to actually read any of these. Maybe one page. Otherwise, I don't give a fuck. But this could be legitimately funny. This could be huge fucking satire of uh, a, a short, uh, needy bitch who just judges men based on Or it could just, it could be just generally pleasant. It could be just like, oh, a little bit, sort of like Johnny Wander or something like that, where it's like some cute Maybe. art and some goofy hijinks that it's like a pleasant thing to read, you know, a couple times a week, something Except like that. that. Here, the, just the title seems to be fucking giving away the fucking concept to me that's just, Hypergamy, the webcomic. Yeah. The, the last one was Literal Degeneracy, the webcomic. This is Hypergamy, the webcomic. Yeah. Um, the description, it's 2.2 million subscribers, and the description says, having a boyfriend who's a full foot taller than you might be, seem adorable. It usually just cause up a bunch of minor inconveniences. Follow the da 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 You know, so. It's Her like, name okay, is whatever. Bitch ball. As she navigates the Malaysian life. Why does it matter if it's a Malaysian? Is Malaysia a different planet? Malaysia, I know it's the, the gayest country in Asia? I know it's the gayest country in Asia. The gayest but what does that country. have to do? And if her boyfriend is 6'5", he's not Malaysian. I can, I can understand. Sorry, Malaysians. <laughs> you're, not, the, you're not her boyfriend then. I, it, it may be her. She, maybe she's a Malaysian, but... I can, I can understand the point is, like, drop this in and all the people who are like, oh, it has representation are, are immediately going to be suckered in. Because that does work. Pandering works. Pandering oh, always yeah. works. People, people, want, people want panders. Yeah. Pandering. People want to be talked down to. Yes, people want to be pandered to all the time. Stupid-ass normal groids. Yes. The stu smelly, dumb, normal scum. Yes. Want to be pandered to. So uh, did you have any comments in the Discord, too? Just that women are very uninteresting. And then, again, I comment in the Discord. I honestly don't know if this is actually yeah. good or not. Yeah, who knows? It, this one could actually be good. I just saw the I saw the name, and it, it fucking annoyed me. Because yeah. it's like, oh, a tall man. Because that's a, a female perspective 
on sexuality, which needs to be ended. Yes, a female <laughs> female sexuality needs to be ended, but also, yeah, the way women are like, female tall standard. guys, am I right? And it's like fucking... A full, he's a full foot taller. Isn't that adorable? No. How how is that adorable? Do you mean because you want to pretend like you were a child? Every time That's we cool. bleed, my so every time we fuck, my asshole starts bleeding because his dick is so huge. Thanks, thanks for that fucking. Like, is that going to yeah, be some of the like funny the, slice of life stuff that I read about? The your mirror rever reverse of the fucking uh, small dick mm -hmm. problems. Yes, uh, exactly. Reddit. It's like I wish my dick could hurt some guy. I would give would anything for my dick to hurt a woman. Yeah, it's just. It's just, it loops back around and becomes creepy. Legitimately, yes. actually creepy. Yes. And not, girl, a guy smiled at me. My life is ruined, creepy. <laughs> fucking she, a guy told me to it. smile more. I'm going to fucking throw myself into a wheat thresher. The <laughs> ultimate cutting scars. When your body is just shorn to ribbons. Just gone. Just gone throw her in the wood chip. That's, that's farming that's who, equipment. That's who ends up in the wood chipper the most often is just over the hill unattractive women mids fucking you eggless freak but who knows maybe this comic is fun maybe this comic is fucking a thousand times worse than we're assuming it that's also possible or maybe, I don't know. It, or maybe it's really great maybe it's everything that i want to see in a comic yeah. i just really doubt it M maybe it's just in between where it's pleasantly benign that's really what i the impression yeah. i get is that but it's just benign of, most of the time be yeah but speaking of eggless well the, no that's the thing about benign is in in the sense of benign it would have to still be kind of uh uh kind of uh endearing uh in this case yeah maybe benign is like subconscious hypergamy or uh, yeah that's that's the thing that's also I'll, always uh present like she's not She's not openly expressing disdain for all men everywhere, except in this one page out of a hundred where she's talking about how she hates uh, objectification. Or how, she, how afraid she is. I'm afraid to go out at night. You don't know what that's like being a six foot five geeky nerd boyfriend of mine. And it's like, oh, thanks for the fucking uh, the wake up call. Wow, I didn't fucking, uh, uh, you know, my eyes are opened. I'm like never before. Who well, that's, that's it. We can only speculate. I'm not going to read the comic. No. Yeah, maybe I could, no I could read the comic and find out. I'm not gonna. But, but if it had it, shit like that, that would be the dumbest shit ever. It would be a total woman moment. That's I, a I, I, pure I, woman moment every single time. Pure woman. Woman drinking her juice. Her, her retard, retard juice. Retard juice. And it's just a fish gulping the entire surface of a lake. Why are they doing that? Because they're because, women. Because women love it's, retard it's juice. It's a fucking female fish, too. Anyway, speaking of Anyways. eggless. Eggless. This, that's what this one should be called. I mean, I saw the title, and it's like, oh, it's kind of funny, because it even says, I want to marry you in the subtitle. And it's like, that's going to piss off a whole bunch of these mids. Mm. But, but it, it, the description gets so much worse. I mean, for the next one? Yes. Oh yeah, I didn't. You didn't say, but it's called "Maybe Meant to Be," and it's a romance comic. There's only three chapters, though, but it already has two hundred and thirty-six thousand subscribers. Um, the three chapters went up June second. That was yesterday. So this just went up. Man, that's unfair. Who who they pay off? Who? I mean, the art is very looking. Uh, this is also another huge problem. Well, it's it's manga, that manga style. Yeah, it is, but it's also, that's all it takes for a lot of people. Oh, the art is cute. Okay, what about it? The art is cute. You, you yeah, just said yeah. the same thing twice. You're yeah, not was, saying anything. What was that comic thing, that we... um anything. The, that comic that was like, da-dan, 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 da-dan. Damn to damn damn damn. Is, yeah, it was the uh, the uh, peppy hair dialogue from Star Fox One on the Super Nintendo. I think there was actually uh, Fox himself. His Whoa. his Fox's dialogue from. Would just Super say damn to damn to damn 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 damn. I can't Whoa, believe how much swearing. I don't think that's allowed. Is it? But um, R -rated, it's the first R rated SNES game. Yes, from the so just the D the D word the D slur. But the um, what was that comment? It was a manga uh, about a girl who, a girl who believes in ghosts and a guy who believes in aliens, and together they end up finding 
alien ghosts. He gets possessed. She gets fucking alien kidnapped and her clothes ripped off and that kind of stuff. She's abducted. But yeah, also they rip all of her clothing off. So, so, so she's, she's fucking stuck in her underwear for the entire rest of the comic. Yes. Ha ha. Ha ha. But um, yeah, what was that one called? It was called like Da Dan Da Dan or Dan Da Dan, I believe. Yeah, I think it was. Here, I can look it up because I'm pretty you can sure. Look it up. Yeah, you can look up the uh, bookmark. Although I think the fucking rest of the title is going to be a bunch of, just a bunch of moon room. Squiggly, gibber. goofy shit. Bing, a bong. Bing, bing, bong, bong. Bing, 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 bong. But the that one had the cute anime style, but then it took things with like a double twist okay, and yeah, fucking... Just Dan, the, Dan. That, is, that is what it's just called. Okay, Dan, I, Dan. I did remember that. That's Here, good. I will link it in our Discord. But that's it the thing is that... It because it's actually good. It's got, yeah, it's got a legitimate sense of humor. It's funny. It's got... Um, it doesn't just straight up have nudity, but it's like the girl is like... There are jokes cute, at her expense. Crappy kind of that, girl. Is the, yes. that is very, very important to me. Yes. There are jokes at the expense of the female character. Which... Very important. The, the, if you're actually a writer, if you're actually funny, if you're actually good at being a writer or whatever, you can do that. Most of these people making these comics, and again, I don't know about this one uh, because yeah, I'm not I don't look at it. I don't know. I'm not going to find out, but based on the synopsis, I'm sure it's terrible. Yeah, here it says Gia Han, a 32 year old freelancer with no work, is tired of her parents' neck, and she, so she's just terminally eggless right now. It's over. She hit the wall. Critical. Already. Yeah, she's post wall already. Yes. It's, it's starting. I, I, I Normally, I appreciate it when it's not set in high school it's, with high schoolers. Wasn't it like Nick Rochefort who was like, you're going to turn 30, then you're going to turn 31, then you can turn 32, and you don't have any plans for that? Oh, moving on. And just fucking. Moving on. Oh, yes. A weird game show. Yes, some kind of dating game show. It's called The Wall. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but um, yeah, the because uh... he's doing a weird character voice. He's doing doing like a weird British accent, and then uh, he's asking this woman about her fucking like how old she is, and then he just breaks character completely. He's yeah. Like, so you're gonna. He's turn... like, what the? He says, what the hell are you talking about? You're gonna turn thirty, and then you're gonna turn thirty-one, and you have you don't have any plans for that. He completely breaks character yeah. to just say, just, and that's kind of the point of the skit. Yeah. It's brilliant. Is to just fucking annihilate these women. What the fuck is it? Is that a reaction flip? Do we have that on fucking reaction flip? No, we no, should. we do not. We should, but we don't. But here, the, the synopsis saying, uh, uh, her parents nagging her to get married and finally move up. She's 32. When she runs into her childhood friend, Min Chiol Jin, who is also feeling the same pressure from his parents. She blurts out that they should just get married to solve their problem. It's almost like the other thing where it's like, we're both gay, but let's pretend to love each other. In this, they're just straight, but they pretend to love each other. And usually along the way, the, the usually the, um, the twist in most movies that actually structure, that have to structure these stories, is at the end they do fall in love. The thing is that... And I think these webtoons that doesn't happen because they don't know what they're they don't have an end point they don't have a goal that they're working to they don't actually have a structure uh, they like don't a, understand story structure it's like questionable content where it's just like yeah the, the whole point is to string along coffee shop hipsters for as much money as you can get out of them before you die yeah and until the, the one day the artist stabs his hand fatally or just drops dead <laughs> death, that's death the point. I, Death by exsanguination from the hand. Yes. They just have no actual story to tell. Um, anyway, Za, she blurts out they should get married. Little does she know he'd accept her suggestion. She suddenly finds herself thrust into marriage. Yeah, you got, I got a thrust for you, Bria. <laughs> yeah, I but, can th I'm going to thrust this girl okay. into marriage. Yes, a story of an unexpected romance that will have you oh. scrolling for more. Again, it's a oh, very I, cliched I, I, premise, though. It, it, even the fucking description of it is cliched by itself. But yeah, unexpected romance. And it's like, yeah, they're pretending to be married. Gee, where did you think this story yeah. was going to go? Uh, don't spoil it for me. Yeah, look, look out. Hey, maybe I should subscribe more. right now and so I can keep up with it. Anyways. I mean, that's where at least if it was gag a day, I'd be like, okay, yeah, uh, there's the premise. Now, where's your jokes? And then the, the jokes come from that. What's confusing is 
only three episodes, all three of them went up the same day instead of like the first episode and then the next one goes up the next week or whatever the Schedule, fuck with that. Yeah, scheduling them so that you fucking get constant. It's a way to game the system, I guess. Yeah, it almost seems like they messed up, but uh, it's they, successful well, for them, whatever. They did mess up, but yeah, they also lucked out. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh -huh. um looks like shit we will uh wrap up the last of these in the next part so uh unlike well, I, we didn't uh we didn't describe oh this yeah one. well we because, did but uh, did you yeah you had some notes no, still. yeah uh, first off i said super triggering title hopefully the i think mm -hmm. i want to marry you part she looks post wall but she's drawn like she's 16 of course because it's typical otherwise looks like typical animu for faggotry yes She's 32. Just hang it up. An unemployed. She's an unemployed freelancer with no children. Ouch. Someone hates themselves for being born female. <laughs> as perhaps as she should. Which, I mean, that's also how a lot of these uh, come across when it's like, oh, is there super cute gay boys that are being gay? It's like, I know you wish you weren't a woman. Yeah, of, of course you don't you want to be you shouldn't female. wish to you're, the misery of body. misery of being a f born a fucking your female. tits are too small. your tits are too small and they're too heavy so they hurt your weak little bitch back and your ass is too flat it won't attract any man nobody wants to be around you because you're intolerable <laughs> and you spent your whole life on your career and you're a freelancer so we know where that went. And then if even if the uh, uh, even if you were hot, that would be your entire personality. You basically I wouldn't even have a soul. This whole fucking it should have mentioned her student debt, like the exact figure of how much of her student debt she still has to pay off in this synopsis. Now again, the comic could actually be good. Now I'm actually scrolling through it and it's like Oh, she's going through a lot of problems. She seems like a slacker. She's going outside to smoke, and she's I... wearing pajama pants and shit. She's kind of an underachiever, the female underachiever, perhaps. Maybe that there's something about that. Maybe uh, yeah. it's an and attempt is made. At least then it's sort of like denigrating your female character. It's like, good. that You should be doing that. You should be allowed to do that. But also, it, yeah, you commented in the, the thing, which I could read here. Yeah, I can't tell saying? I can't help that I'm unconsciously hypergamous. Yeah. I think that was... Oh, wait, no. It was, I guess in, it could no, in, be your response well, to it's in response. It's kind of in response to a lot of these. This first episode drama. is gigantic, though. And it did, here's one thing about the weird fucking... Uh, the layout is the word balloons are huge and fucking tend to be bigger than the panels. And the panels will sometimes just be little side views and tiny things and stuff where the dialogue doesn't fit onto the panel which is like if you're going to ever trying if you're if you're ever thinking of uh printing this it's going to be a fucking disaster you're going to have to really reorganize things it's kind of bizarre but whatever um my problem the uh, like yeah who knows about the comic or like pouring a pan of oil into down the drain the, down the kitchen sink or throwing my car batteries into the ocean not my problem. Yeah. Anyways, um... Well, there's also, I'm hypergamous, but hypergamy doesn't exist. It's an MRA conspiracy theory. Anyway, here's my comic about boyfriend number 88. Maybe <laughs> boyfriend <laughs> number 1488. 88, you say? Wow. That's a lot of boyfriend. That's a lot of boyfriends. She sounds like a big slut. She's fucking. If she if she has that many boyfriends, she's automatically a slut. I know. I comment later down in this thread about these, but there's just. I need to mention this now. Why are all these about Koreans? How many of these fucking comics are going to be starring Koreans or Asians or about? Asians? I mean, unless they're oh, actually they're... made by Koreans or something. Well, I mean, I think that's the point. But it's like, why is it like ninety percent of the fucking front page comics? Uh, they're they're a t they're not even two percent of the fucking population of the English speaking world. Yeah, it's kind How of bizarre. How are they dominating webtoons? There, there is an element. There might be an uh, element to that where it's like Koreans are way into web comics. The same way it's like fucking. Um, well, I so, well yeah. Starcraft. We knew, knew so. Uh, I mean, I can get a Korean to draw a dog in a cape. <laughs> 
Fucking... That, that's fucking, you know, uh, it's it's common. It's just that it's also kind of annoying. I don't give a shit about your culture. And then maybe blow your brains out. But anyways, it's also possible that, like, all the goofy and fun stuff in this comic is completely stolen from a bunch of other, like, published manhua or fucking uh, mangers, romance manga, that kind of stuff. Um, and it's just completely derivative of all that. It could be in some way original instead. I don't know. Considering um, this is, uh, I have to assume because this is like probably the lowest common denominator because anyone can make Yeah, I assume it's been done to death many times The problem before. is that it's on the front page. If this was just the detritus of the site, I'd be like, okay, but they're promoting this on the front page. It's got like millions of views. Millions, yeah. Uh, well, it's... Uh, brand new to um doesn't have millions yet but i mean it's clearly already on the fast track within the next few days or something for that kind of goes to show how um you know if if you can imitate that manga style then uh you kind of already have it made on webtoon um but that's you know that's a whole other topic too anyways we will uh, conclude with the next episode so uh unlike share and sure to listen to shitty webcomics